Hi everyone, welcome to Primetime TV Show. I'm your host, Barbara Marville Kelly. Thank you so much for joining us. My husband and uh, co-host is having the day off today, if you will. So in his place is Rita Melios. It's great to have you with us. Oh, I'm so excited to be here, Barbara. Thank you. Oh gosh, it, we've been talking about this and talking about it. So today was the perfect opportunity. Rita is known as the Mind Mentor. Now, mm -hmm. if many of you read some of my Facebook postings today and yesterday, Yesterday, I've been talking about the weight loss pilot study that we launched within the last couple of weeks and I know that for anybody that's out there watching who has tried every single weight loss diet program in the book and has given up I want you to just lean a little bit closer because Rita has put this this whole program together there's all kinds of different ways that we can do for weight loss and you gave me a great phrase that it really explained it white knuckling ourselves <laughs> how many of us have tried some kind of a weight loss program and we feel like we're holding on for dear life we can't do this we can't do that we're depriving ourselves what does that do it creates more stress for us doesn't it exactly that's why my most diets don't work is because you cannot white knuckle it through life for a long term they were short term maybe but not for long term you know this is what i love about rita is you put things into perspective so that we we get it. Mm -hmm. As a baby boomer, I'm sure there's many of you out there raising your hand, you're a baby boomer. I can relate to when I hit my 40s, my 50s, now my 60s. Each, every 10 years, it seemed like I had mm -hmm. to work harder at the gym. I had to really watch was, what was going in my mouth mm -hmm. because our metabolism slows exactly. down. Exactly, that's true. It's just, just part of life, part of aging. Mm -hmm. but. You know, we, we don't want to give in to that, and, and fortunately, we can do something about it. We can't reverse it entirely, but we can help. We can help. We yeah. can. And that's why I'm, I'm very excited to have you uh, talk about some of the different things that we can do. Now, Reed and I were on the phone last night. I was, I was putting some different little notes together, and the thing is, is that I always go back to making choices. It's all about choices. How important is, a, is it to us for the weight we want to lose? Are the, is it the right reasons for you? Of course it's the right reasons for me. I want to be able to bend over and tie my shoes. I want to be able to get down on the floor with my grandson and be able to play with him. And I want to be able to fit into my clothes so that I'm comfortable when I'm moving out on the dance floor. Next month, I want to drop another five or six pounds so that I can move fluidly and things like that. Can we talk a little bit about choices? Now, you have your own practice in uh, Hudson. Right. You have your own office here, right. and you've been working with women and men and people who want to change their their mindfulness in all kinds of different areas of their life. Mm -hmm. Today we're focusing on the weight loss, but it does go back, it goes a little bit deeper than that, so that once we kind of understand the mindfulness of the whole picture, that's when you can really hit the weight loss end of it, and then it doesn't seem so such a white knuckled effect. Exactly, exactly. That's why I call it mindful eating because mm -hmm. really most of anything that we do as far as changing behaviors, changing attitudes, has to come from a more inner perspective, and that's what mindfulness is about. Mindfulness is really just knowing what you're really doing, not what you may think you're doing, which is your conscious outer mind mm -hmm. um, telling you you're doing something, but what you're really doing at the intent level, at the level of your subconscious, at the level of your desires, your motivations, from an inner wise self perspective. And the one thing to really remember about that is that your inner wise self always, always has your best interest at heart. And even when you think that something is going against you, like your conscious mind says, well, I want to go this way, and something is pulling you this way, and you get stuck, because that's what stuck is, you're not going anywhere, it's only because um, something in your subconscious is saying, wait a minute, I don't buy in to what you're saying to yourself. I'm not good enough, I don't deserve this, you know. Mm. Um, I, and for instance, the deprivation mindset, it's saying to you, you deserve to have pleasure in life. Why deprive yourself? We don't like that. We don't want you to believe that you need to deprive yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's your inner self trying to protect you. So with mindful eating, we get to those messages and end of the conflict, quote unquote, um, it generally turns out to be 
an apparent conflict between the conscious and subconscious mind. And in that case, it is, it's just that they have different messages. And when you understand the message that your subconscious mind is really trying to tell you and really trying to do for you, which is saying, yes, you deserve pleasure. Yes, you know, you are okay and perfect just as you are. But your conscious mind says, well, I want to be this other way. Well, that's fine. You know, we have choices. You know, you and I are women. We can make different decisions, but we can't do it when there's a part of us that's trying to protect our, our integrity and say, you don't need to change to be okay. You are okay. So we have to get that true message and say, oh, okay. You know, yes, I agree with that. So I'm not going to be consciously trying to be in conflict with that, I'll say, yes, I, I do agree that I can be okay and I am fine, but I'm changing all the time. And when I change this way in my appearance, my attitude, my beliefs and the things that mm -hmm. I do, I'll be okay there too. Mm -hmm. And then I change again and I'll be okay there too. And then your subconscious mind, your inner self that's protecting you says, yeah, that's true. You know, I'll buy that. And then you have an agreement between the two and you work together and that's when you go where you want to go. You know, that makes so much sense the way you explain that because it's almost like we have these two these conversations going on with ourself. Mm -hmm. Is that is that exactly is that it? Exactly. The subconscious, right. the conscious. Right. And uh -huh. it's almost like sometimes they're butting heads. No wonder we get stuck. And can't <laughs> exactly. we get stuck that way in uh, business arrangements and in relationships and all that kind of thing? Everything that we do because really eighty five percent has been scientifically sort of um, assess that about 85% of our decisions, our actions, and our behaviors are subconsciously based. So I always tell people, doesn't it make sense for you to understand what's going on in there? <laughs> because it's running your life. Yeah. <laughs> it might be a good idea to know what the heck you've got going on in there and to get both of those, subconscious and conscious, on the same page. And again, always remembering that your inner self, which is part of your subconscious, has always only your highest good in mind. So anything that seems like it's going against you has an agenda that's really for you. And you just need to find out what that is and, and fulfill that agenda in a more appropriate way that's not in conflict with what you want to do consciously. And that just seems, it seems so simplistic. Mm -hmm. And once you understand that, the one thing that I love about Rita B, she, you've been a psychotherapist for how many years? About 15 years. About 15 years. But what I love about your approach is, is you aren't typical textbook. You have really rounded this out to call it kind of like your own, this is your own protocol, your own program that's obviously been working. <laughs> so guess. you put a little different twist to it so that we don't have to white knuckle ourselves yeah. through well, life. That's what the mind mentor because the mind has always been fascinating to me even before I was a psychotherapist I was a hypnotherapist for about 10 years and um, even before that I was always interested in the mind so it's always been something that I wanted to learn how uh, how it worked and how it processed and I found that in therapy when you understand and you teach people how the subconscious actually works and you work with the process of your mind, what it's really trying to do, instead of going against the flow as we've been talking about, that you get so much further. So that's why I have the little tagline, Mind Mentor, because people need to be educated about right. how their minds work. And when you do that and you combine it with um, you know, some more um, spiritual type things, which, which is you know, like we all have an inner self, a higher self, sometimes you can call it a soul self, but um, whatever your belief is, it's that part of us is trying to evolve us to a higher level. Sure. That interplays very well with the psychological knowledge because basically the um, that particular kind of training is really psychology when you get mm -hmm. down to it. Mm -hmm. And so learning how those two go together has been a valuable thing for me in my practice. And I work mainly on the subconscious level with people. Subconscious mind, yes, that does have some positive things and self-talk and different elements that you can use. But to get anything really done, you've got to get in there where it's you know, where it's created and stored to the actual little packet of energy, as I call it, the psychic, mental, emotional, spiritual little packet of energy where that belief was created and change it at that level to really get the change. There's a lot, um, a lot of us are really understanding this whole, the whole belief thing mm -hmm. because growing up and, and by the time we get into our baby boomer years, I mean, there's a lot of stuff stored in there. Exactly. And a lot of that isn't necessarily known to be truth. 
Right. It's a belief mm -hmm. system that can hold us back in so many different areas of our life experience. I know that myself just just from different little things that I grew up with and as I look back and I go, that wasn't true about me back then, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Exactly. And, um, exactly. But it's funny how you carry that, that extra little baggage with you mm -hmm. into, your, into your life as you grow up, get married, mm -hmm. have kids, and that kind of thing, and it's still kind of sitting back there. It's always going to be there, Barbara, because um, as I tell people, if you are breathing, you have issues. Not a single person out there can get away without having issues. And I think that there was a high higher purpose for that. For one, um, basically, real quickly, you cannot give the power of the mind, the full power of the mind to a child. So it was a way of dampening down the power of a child that they have what's called magical thinking where they take on mm, guilt and blame mm. when they don't need to. The job of adulthood, which 99% of the people unfortunately do not know about and therefore they don't do is that they need to go back and take charge of their mind, take charge of their thinking, take charge of their release, clear it out and say this one's a keeper, this one needs updating, that one needs throwing away, and then take the power of their mind and start to own it and use it. But most people don't understand that that is a job that needs to be done. So like you said, I have people who are in their 60s, late 60s, 70s who come in and they're still being uh, guided by and making their decisions and their choices on those issues because those issues are the original programming, the first layer of bricks, as I call it, of the house that is you, that is your default setting. And that default setting is always going to come up when you have something that mm. reminds it. Because oh. again, the way that the mind works on association and pattern, something happens today that makes you feel like, I'm not adequate, I'm not okay, I'm flawed. And your conscious, subconscious mind says, oh, I know how we feel about that. This is our default setting. You know, you, you, you are flawed. There's something wrong with you at the very innate level. You're not okay. And it brings it up to you, as we were talking last night, and you, you appreciated this point. I did. You're, again, your subconscious mind, your inner self, is not, um, does not have anything against you. It's trying to help you. So why would it bring these issues up over and over again all through your life? Well, because it's an opportunity. It says this is what you're programmed with. These are your beliefs, your doubts, your fears, your worries. I'm bringing it up to you to ask you, do you still agree with it or do you want to change me? Mm -hmm. You can only change and edit those feelings if they are activated, which means that they are alive, being felt and experienced right now. They have to be alive and vibrating. Hmm. I use a little metaphor, like if you have something lost in the C drive of your computer way down in, you're not going to be able to edit that file. The same thing with these beliefs. But when you're feeling your feelings and experiencing your experiences, that little file is on the desktop, blinkity blink blink, do you want to open me and edit me now? So when we have our issues, instead of running away from them, which is what we're taught to do and programmed to do, we need to do a little happy dance. Great, my issue, my problem. You know, <laughs> I have dance. an opportunity yes, here. Yes. And, and not waste the opportunity because you need to hold on to it, feel the feeling, experience, experience, and at the same time, do a little self-talk, be your own little cheerleader, your own little therapist, and say, oh, this is how my mind was programmed. That was long ago, and it was probably programmed in error to begin with. Let me check and really see, is there any truth to it today? If there isn't, then why would I... Hang on to it. Why would I keep doing what I have been doing all along? Sure. Which is just, I feel the feeling, I assume that it's true, and I act and choose my choices and behaviors based on the feeling, which is I'm being an automatum. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm being an automatic pilot. I'm not taking charge of my own mind. So mindful thinking says, it comes up, check it out. Does it have truth? If it does, then okay, I, I need to take that under advisement. I need to do a little bit of updating and, and maybe change some of my beliefs there. But most of the time it doesn't. And you just say, okay, that's just my old belief. I don't need to buy into it today. I don't need to let it stop me from where I want to be going and what I want to be doing. So you just talk yourself through it. You give yourself a little pep talk. You take a deep breath and you go on and do what you were going to do anyway. It's a little uncomfortable, but you know what? We get stuck with needles, we have babies, we do all things that, <laughs> exactly. that are uncomfortable. We can take a little discomfort mentally, a little Well, anxiety. especially if you're going to have, have growth from it. Where exactly. were you, let me see, uh, like 40 years ago, <laughs> I've been doing this slow process, but we're going to go ahead and take a brief little time out, and we're going to pick up where we left off with our mind mentor here, Rita Melios. So stick around, get a favorite beverage, call some friends, and have them tune in because we're going to really get into the nitty-gritty of mindfulness and connect it with one of the toughest things to do, if we believe that, 
is losing weight and keeping it off and managing it. So stay right there. We'll be right back after this. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. This is one bee that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Hi, I'm Derek Brooks, former linebacker for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. During my NFL career, I realized the importance of giving back and started my foundation, Derek Brooks Charities. We help Tampa Bay youth prepare for a successful life through our college prep and mentoring programs. Our goal is to see youth excel academically and develop strong characters and be better citizens for tomorrow. To further our mission, we've teamed up with Fun Night, a company that gives members access to thousands of nationwide discounts on products and services they buy every day. These include entertainment, retail purchases, dining and travel. Best of all, 33% of every membership fee goes to the charity of your choice. We love being able to save our supporters money while giving them a unique opportunity to support our charitable work in the community. I invite you to consider using Fun Night to save money and give back to your favorite cause. Visit www.funnight.us to sign up now and get a free 30-day trial. Save money, help others with Fun Night, and support Derrick Brooks Charity. One bee that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental. Providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. The environment here is really kid friendly, family friendly. The parents are welcome to watch. It's definitely been a different atmosphere since Dr. Becerra has come on. Um, it's very inviting and welcoming. The children just enjoy coming here all around. My middle son did not like to come to the dentist, but now he loves to come to the Beehive. You don't have to be afraid to go to the dentist. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Mortgages don't need to be complicated. At Norcom, we're here to guide you through the process. By following our tried and true path to success, we make homes happen. To get started, give us a call or apply online. A trusted mortgage consultant will reach out to you to find out what your goals are. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new home or refinance your current home, we are dedicated to helping you achieve your goals. At Norcom, we'll provide a best-in-class customer experience. Once a plan is established, your mortgage consultant will analyze your income, assets, and credit profile in order to customize a plan for you. If you're planning on moving in the next few years, we might suggest an adjustable rate mortgage to be the best option for you. If you're a veteran, we'll get you started on a VA loan with 0% down. And if you're thinking long-term, a 30-year fixed loan might be your best fit. Our professionals are up to date on market trends and will help you make the best decision in choosing your rate. After we've found the program that's best for you, we'll then need to collect some information, including pay stubs, bank statements, and tax forms. Our underwriting team steers a loan through the approval process to verify that all the information you've provided is correct. 
as the underwriting process is taking place, an appraisal is ordered to determine the value of your home. A professional, local appraiser specializing in your area will determine the home's value. The last leg of this journey is closing your loan. While taking care of any last minute details, our closing team will work on scheduling your closing date and location. It's that simple. Thank you for taking some time to walk through the mortgage path with us. Remember, we're always here to answer any questions you may have. It may seem intimidating, but here at Norcom Mortgage, we make homes happen. We're back here at Primetime TV Show. I'm your host, Barbara Marville Kelly. With me is Rita Melio. So she happens to be known as the Mind Mentor. I couldn't think of a better title or subtitle for you. But Rita is a psychotherapist. For those of you that might be tuning in, she's an author and workshop presenter for clinicians and lay audiences. And she uses very unique mind tools with her psychoeducation techniques to bridge the gap between traditional psychotherapy and holistic approaches. And that's what makes your program different than mm -hmm. anything out there. Uh, for those of you that have ever gone to any kind of counseling whatsoever, I'm hoping that, of course, it did, did you some good. It usually does. But if you're looking for a different sort of a twist, and especially when it comes to mindful eating, weight loss, weight management. Rita has actually put together a pilot study program. I've been talking about that on Facebook. And we do still have, for the month of September, we're still able to take applicants. If you would like to join us, you can always um, message me uh, outside of the show. You can also get a hold of Rita. And um, Rita's, we'll put Rita's, um, her uh, email up there in in just a little bit. Um, if you want to go ahead and give that to him, because we want to make sure that you there have it. Is. Oh, there she is. Rita so. Melios at TampaBay.rr.com. Very quick. We are doing both an in-person um, training, and we're also doing what we call remote, because there were people who wanted to take part in other states. Mm -hmm. And so what we are doing is um, another lady who's doing some of the um, education with me. She and I will. Um, do it live for the people who are live here mm -hmm. at, at um, Barbara's place at Crescent Oaks Country Club on Tuesday nights and we will have education and then usually every evening uh, during that time um, each week I will do a hypnosis slash guided imagery. That will be taped and we will put that up online on a conference call for the remote people to call in and then they can get that guided imagery and listen to it as many times as they want. And then the next day or the day after, we still are deciding what day that will be, possibly Thursday, but we will get back to people. That's why I'm giving you my email. If you want to take part remotely, um, I would be needing to send you the handouts that we're doing. And also Barbara, or not Barbara, um, Julie and I are going to be doing a live conference call that you can dial in and ask your questions and get feedback live about the education part that the people who come in person get on Tuesday evening. So it's very exciting that we're able to do both I know. live I'm just, and I'm remote. listening to you and I'm thinking, this is really wow. amazing. Here we have this show, thanks to Tampa Bay <laughs> Multimedia, where we can come to you across the nation and give you all this wonderful feedback and knowledge. For those of you that are locally, you can come on Tuesday nights at Crescent Oaks Golf and Country Club right here in Tarpon Springs at 7 p.m., like Rita said. And then, of course, to be able to do it remote, mm -hmm. I mean, you can have as many people on, on exactly. the phone line exactly. as you like. Yeah, that was a wonderful, um, just sort of a little brainstorm that Julie had. Why yes. don't we do it remote? Because she had people who wanted to join in from other states. So I'm excited that we're doing that. And what we're doing with the mindful eating, um, basically there's education about mindfulness and how the mind works because that is important um, for you to take charge of those things. As I was telling Barbara during the break, the two main components of what you need to be mindful, which means paying attention uh, to what you're really doing, not what you may think you're doing, and making really conscious, aware choices about what's really going on, being mindful of that deprivation mindset that you need to reprogram, and that's why we use um, guided imagery and hypnosis to reprogram that belief that um, you have a conflict between your inner and outer mind because you don't really, we have to undo that associative con 
conflict that is apparent conflict, but not really conflict, so that that doesn't happen anymore. And then the other piece is the emotional eating that we do uh, when we eat to uh, de-stress ourselves, we eat to feel better, to give ourselves a little pleasure, a little joy in life. Um, you know, it, it is fun to eat, <laughs> but you know, when we have other goals, see, these are choices again. Uh, we're not in conflict because you did make this goal, apparently, if you are wanting to lose weight. I mean, I don't see anybody with a gun to our heads that says, right, you know, exactly. you have to do that. So, right. so we need to remember this is a choice that we make for ourselves because we have a higher goal, a bigger goal than maybe just that little bite of chocolate right now. We have something that's more important. So we need to be mindful about how does that um, fit into what we're doing. And most of the time, um, we'll find ourselves mindlessly eating. You're, you know, you put mm. the bowl of chips out and before you even realize that you've eaten half of them, if you're mindful, you would be noticing how it tastes and really being paying attention to it so that you can get the most bang for your buck exactly. out of five or six chips. And then you mindfully check in after five or six chips and say, you know, those are pretty good. But you know what? In reality, the first few bites taste the best. Mm -hmm. And then after about seven or eight or nine or 10, it just sort of, oh, this is just okay. So then you mindfully check in and say, all right, there's a return on investment for um, stopping here mm -hmm. and there's you know a different return on investment for keeping going eating this thing and do I want to have to do that much more exercise just to finish up these chips to keep my goal going or could I say you know what they're not as thrilling to me as they were five chips ago why don't I just say I've had enough and again that's about being mindful and there's many many other ways that we talk about mindfulness one of the things that I like to do is teach people not only how your mind works, which your mind is your consciousness and the larger part, your brain is the actual physical part, and our brain, our actual physical part of consciousness, has um, little different areas in it. Mm -hmm. There's an area that we call uh, the braking system that helps you stop when you need to stop. There's an area called the cookie monster area. These are sort of made up. The cookie monster area that wants to you know, have sweets and things. Uh, there's an executive area that helps you make decisions, and then there's, um, an area that just wants you to have what you want when you want it, which mm -hmm. is, I don't want to have any restrictions, I don't want to have to, you know, to white knuckle it, I just want to be free, and you know, like we all would like to, like to never have to have any guidelines on ourselves. <laughs> but we can, with visualization and guided imagery, which is how you talk to your subconscious mind directly. Because your subconscious mind, unlike your conscious mind, does not deal in words very well. It deals more in pictures. So guided imagery, mm -hmm. hypnosis, uh, visualization are taking the message to your subconscious in the language that it speaks. So don't you think you're going to get the message through better if you speak the language instead of me going to China and trying to talk exactly. English? Exactly. You know, they're not going to understand sense. me. It makes sense. So that's what we do. And we talk directly to those areas of your brain. And we ask them to dial down, to do this, to do that. And, and we ask for what we want because there is a rule here. Um, and it's asking you shall receive. And you ask your mind, you ask your brain for what you want, and that's called intending and programming. And the way that things work, and we'll talk about that more as we have other shows, uh, the way that that works is if that the conscious mind, even though it's less powerful, it's less strong, it's less large than the subconscious, it actually has trump power. So if your, sub if your conscious mind says, I intend this, I affirm this, these are my instructions, these are my rules, this is what I want you to do, subconscious mind. The subconscious mind must follow that. So isn't that cool? So you really are in control. You are in control. <laughs> All you control freaks. <laughs> you actually can be in control, but you got to know how to do it. There you go. And where and when. <laughs> exactly. I love that. Well, when you were saying about eating the chips, and, and it's so true because they do taste the best, the first few. So basically, you're being mindful. And then if you keep eating them, you become mindless. Well, well you because could, you yes. just keep if you, you know, do that, right. right? And you could be mindful and saying, you know, I can make whatever choice I want, but sure. there is a a price to pay for That's, continuing mm -hmm, this. Is mm -hmm. the price worth what I will have to pay for it? Mm -hmm. I can make a decision here. That's what being mindful is. Mindless, mm -hmm. you went past the point of the mm -hmm. decision and they're gone, and you think, oh gosh, now I got to exercise did I do that? more. <laughs> now I'll never get rid of this pound that I just put on. There was know? a whole tub of ice cream. Yeah. How, how many have we done that? <laughs> right? Right? A little yeah. bit of chocolate, peanut butter in that. You know, oh, we'll just keep piling on, and then you go. 
what was I thinking here? And I then know. you wake up in the middle of the night with some kind of a sugar perspiration and everything, yeah. reaction and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So so getting to this mindful, it, it some people may, may have never even given that a second thought. It, it's a fairly new concept, actually. Yeah, but yeah. the way you put it into the perspective that we can understand, I can buy into this a whole lot easier because, again, we're going back to that whole white knuckle effect, and we know what that is. We're on the airplane. Mm -hmm. If you're fearful of airplanes and you're holding on for dear life, the whole white knuckle thing, and there's diet programs out there that are like that, and you just feel like you have a constant break on yourself. Mm -hmm. So what you're, if I'm hearing you correctly, it's okay to have a little of this, being mindful, and being really taking that time to Again, the, the, satisfy the, yourself. Right, there's no restrictions. It's like have whatever you want, but be mm -hmm. mindful about it, yeah. knowing that if you eat a slice of pizza, maybe even two slices of pizza, that's probably not going to derail you from your goals. But sure. if you eat the whole pizza, probably not alignment with your goals and it's right. again it's a decision that you can make if you are aware that you are making a decision and you take responsibility mm -hmm. instead of just being mindless and again there are emotional reasons you we don't want to feel deprived we mm -hmm. want to feel like we deserve you know something good and we do and um, you know we have all these emotional reasons for saying let me take good care of myself but the thing is you need to take care of yourself on the level which it is existing. You need to keep, take care of your mental needs on the mental level, emotional needs on the emotional level, the physical needs on the physical level. No one really needs a whole pizza. <laughs> so, so you know, if we That's take care true. of our emotional, if we take care of our emotional needs of. I'm a person who deserves pleasure. I'm a person who who deserves something to to make me happy. Say so yes. Well, what else would make me happy besides a pizza? I can get my happiness, you know, mm -hmm. strokes met sure. uh, other ways. So sure. let me think about that. So it gets you really into thinking, exactly. in making better decisions, being accountable, mm -hmm. being committed being proactive with what you're doing. And honestly, it goes right back to choices. Right, and it's not a forced thing. It's like no. you can do whatever you want. But mm -hmm. remember, if you are saying, I would like to look this way, be this way, feel this way, and have this amount, you know, X number come up on the scale, you have something that you, you have a reason that you made that goal. Remember your goal, if it's important to you, then you will make choices according to that goal. And every time you do that, instead of feeling deprived because you didn't eat the rest of the chips, you'll say, great, hooray for me. I aligned myself with my goal. Now I'm going to move closer to my goal and and get my goal reached good for me exactly you know? and it's a sense of accomplishment yes it's a different mindset not yes. not being deprived but following through on a choice that you made for yourself for a very positive reason that you really do want. That's something to feel proud of yourself about and to applaud yourself for and mm -hmm. to appreciate. Absolutely. We just need to turn the mindset around to a different belief. So it's really, belief. it's almost like just adjusting the scale, tweaking it a little bit. Mm -hmm. When we come back, we're gonna take another little break. Our show's going by quick, I told you it would. <laughs> um, when we come back, I want I want to ask you a question. You can think about this: Is what do you feel in what you've seen with women and men? It doesn't matter on what causes us to fail in these um, moments when we do want to get on some sort of a weight loss program, weight management, um, when we don't even have a clue about mindful eating or anything like that. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a break. When we come back, we'll ha we'll have more with Rita and uh, some of the things that Rita's doing with her clients that is really getting some success. So stay right where you are. We'll be right back after this. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. This is one bee that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. V, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. 
I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Hi, I'm Derek Brooks, former linebacker for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. During my NFL career, I realized the importance of giving back and started my foundation, Derek Brooks Charities. We help Tampa Bay youth prepare for a successful life through our college prep and mentoring programs. Our goal is to see youth excel academically and develop strong characters and be better citizens for tomorrow. To further our mission, we've teamed up with Fun Night, a company that gives members access to thousands of nationwide discounts on products and services they buy every day. These include entertainment, retail purchases, dining, and travel. Best of all, 33% of every membership fee goes to the charity of your choice. We love being able to save our supporters money while giving them a unique opportunity to support our charitable work in the community. I invite you to consider using Fun Night to save money and give back to your favorite cause. Visit www.funnight.us to sign up now and get a free 30-day trial. Save money, help others with Fun Night, and support Derrick Brooks Charity. This is one bee that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental. Providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. The environment here is really kid friendly, family friendly. The parents are welcome to watch. It's definitely been a different atmosphere since Dr. Becerra has come on. Um, it's very inviting and welcoming. The children just enjoy coming here all around. My middle son did not like to come to the dentist, but now he loves to come to the Beehive. You don't have to be afraid to go to the dentist. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Mortgages don't need to be complicated. At Norcom, we're here to guide you through the process. By following our tried and true path to success, we make homes happen. To get started, give us a call or apply online. A trusted mortgage consultant will reach out to you to find out what your goals are. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new home or refinance your current home, we are dedicated to helping you achieve your goals. At Norcom, we'll provide a best-in-class customer experience. Once a plan is established, your mortgage consultant will analyze your income, assets, and credit profile in order to customize a plan for you. If you're planning on moving in the next few years, we might suggest an adjustable rate mortgage to be the best option for you. If you're a veteran, we'll get you started on a VA loan with 0% down. And if you're thinking long-term, a 30-year fixed loan might be your best fit. Our professionals are up to date on market trends and will help you make the best decision in choosing your rate. After we've found the program that's best for you, we'll then need to collect some information, including pay stubs, bank statements, and tax forms. Our underwriting team steers a loan through the approval process to verify that all the information you've provided is correct. As the underwriting process is taking place, an appraisal is ordered to determine the value of your home. A professional, local appraiser specializing in your area will determine the home's value. The last leg of this journey is closing your loan. While taking care of any last minute details, our closing team will work on scheduling your closing date and location. It's that simple. Thank you for taking some time to walk through the mortgage path with us. Remember, we're always here to answer any questions you may have. It may seem intimidating, but here at Norcom Mortgage, we make homes happen. Welcome back into Prime Time. I'm your host, Barbara Marvel Kelly, and with me is Rita Melios, a psychotherapist extraordinaire, I must say. Bless your heart, thank you. Well, I just speak the truth. You make <laughs> so much sense, and you've really taken the guesswork out of mindful eating, mindful thinking, the power of the subconscious mind. You were telling me 
that the subconscious mind makes 85% of the decision making. It influences and directs, wow. and, and uh, all of our decisions are based on uh, material and agendas of the subconscious, 85%, so only 15% in the conscious mind decision. So again, people who um, you don't say, well, I don't know why I did that. Well, because it was subconsciously motivated, it had an agenda. Uh, but on the other hand, people who use their intuition, who can get into that kind of subconscious mind at will, which is what I love to teach people, how to use it at will, and get it when you want it and use it how you want it, um, then they can get that information and make better informed decisions because they have 100% of the information, not just 15. See, that just makes so much yeah. sense. Before we took the break, I, I mentioned to Rita, um, if maybe you could give us an idea on what causes us to feel like we're failures when it comes to we get into a weight loss program, and then before you know it, we've, we've given up. Even if we've lost some weight, mm -hmm. then we give up and then we gain it back. Is that that's that darn subconscious mind talking? <laughs> it is the subconscious, and again, you've got to remember that it has a positive agenda for you. Basically what it is, is that when we go on a diet the normal way, when we go about losing weight the normal way, mm -hmm. we're saying to ourselves, you are not okay as you are. You will only be okay mm -hmm. if you are different than, that you, than you are now. And part of you inside, the wise, loving part of you says, wait a minute, you know, I don't want to buy into that. You know, you are perfect and right just as you are. I'm not going to let you buy into that. Mm -hmm. So it resists you at every step. You don't want to set up that resistance because it's not a real resistance. It's just that they have different ways of viewing what's right and okay in the message. So what we do in the first couple of hypnosis sessions is really hammer home that idea that you are perfect and right just as you are, no matter how many pounds you are or what you are, because you are where you need to be for the lessons you need to learn mm. at this moment. Mm. If you were, if it was not right for you to be there, guess what? You would be somewhere else. So don't fight where you are. Look around. It's okay. Look around for the lesson. I tell people it's like there's a diamond in the rough somewhere down there. Sure. Find the little diamond. And you know, if you're in a bad place, it is not the time to set up your tent and just stay there. I don't like this. I don't like this. I wish it was different. Find the lesson that you need to learn there because that's what's holding you there. And then you will be free to move. So with our subconscious mind, we say to it, we say, yes, you are perfect and right just as you are, but hello, we have choices. We can also be perfect and right, a little less weight and a little less weight and a little less weight. We're not hooking our okayness to the weight that we are. Our okayness is valid and proven without that um, weight being attached to it. So we need to deattach some things that we have inadvertently associated with in our subconscious that gives our subconscious pause and says, wait a minute, that's not the truth for you. I'm going to defend you. You are okay. That, I'll tell you, that just really, it puts it, it really encapsulates it for me. It, it just makes a lot of sense what you're saying, and I'm hoping that you're agreeing with that, because if you've never tried anything like what we've been talking about, maybe it's time for you now to make a choice for yourself in maybe going to that next level. Maybe you're, you're, you're perfect and fine the way you are right now, but maybe it's time for a change. Maybe there's more lessons to be learned. Mm -hmm. And I've got to tell you, I wish Rita was around 40 years ago, I could have saved myself so many radio shows, talk shows, books that I've read. I mean, we are busting out at the seams with all these personal growth and development books. Mm -hmm. So I, it took me a little bit here, a little bit there, and, and I get it. I really get it. You go through these different hills and valleys of life, so we learn mm -hmm. and grow, learn and grow. And weight loss is one of the biggest challenges that I have seen among women ever because it affects the way we feel about ourselves. Mm -hmm. It can put us into a deep, depressed stupor for whatever crazy reasons because we're trying to fulfill what society mm -hmm. expects that we are supposed to be. But what I'm mm -hmm. hearing from you is you want us to accept ourselves for who right. we are. And, and so your inner self is saying, wait a minute, you don't have to be what society wants. You are fine like you are. Your authentic self is fine. Thank you. I won't let you buy into that lie. And so that's why we're so excited about the pilot study. Mm -hmm. it, it's partly um, mindful eating and education and hypnosis, and then there's other components. There are many, many options in the study, and all we ask is that you do our little form, our questionnaire, and tell us what your options that you chose and, and what results you got with those so that we can later 
catalog all of our little data and get some information. But for this study, um, the Mindful Eating program that I'm doing uh, is my part, my contribution to it. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no charge for it whatsoever. So if you want to just do that part, which is the education, the hypnosis, it will be in person here in Tarpon, and mm -hmm. it will be also available for conference call and online um, a download of the conference call. The hypnosis will be there for you to use over and over again. Um, it's normally $120 to $160, depending on how many weeks we go. And it's all for free, so um, you might want to take advantage of it. It's, you know, it's there. really, the timing is right now, and through the month of September, we're still taking new people mm -hmm. that would like to participate. We would love to have you join us. We would love to get your feedback. I personally want to see the feedback myself. Definitely, definitely. I mean, a lot of this, I truly, honestly, had to do my own homework, and... You know, sometimes it just is a little bit too much. If I would have had you as like sitting perched on my shoulders, mm -hmm. whispering in that little rascal, mm -hmm. the subconscious, yeah. it would have been so much easier. Exactly. So now you're making it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be about how long is this pilot study going to go about? About two to three months. People, okay. people can stretch it out a little longer if they want to lose more weight or work on it longer. Um, two months, um, pretty much the standard for the education part. Um, that's one reason that we asked you to email your email us, either Barbara or myself, mm -hmm. because we will need to get you the information. Um, there are many handouts and education materials that I sent out for the first session. I resend those to people who email and join in late. Um, they can go over those. And then uh, on the conference call, um, remotely, we um, do the uh, talking and uh, going over the handouts and having questions and answers and feedback that we do live. We do that with the conference call. And um, then again, the hypnosis, the conference number to call will be different every time for those. So you'll need your handouts each week and you'll need your conference call numbers each week. So that's why we need to have contact with you so that we can keep forwarding you the next sessions materials and the next sessions materials. I'll tell you, this is really gracious of you, but then you're gaining something from it too. The one thing that I have found for myself, and I can only speak for myself, is I have to be accountable Mm -hmm. I have to be proactive with it, and I have to be committed. So those are some of the choices you may want to ask yourself mm -hmm. before you even get involved. It, it may not be for everybody that's watching the show today, but you know what? If we're able to help even just a small handful, even one person that's viewing the show today, then we know that our job has been successful. So, And we would love for you to share. We're going to have Rita on as a regular guest on Primetime TV Show because, after all, mm -hmm. it's all about living your best prime time and being your best authentic self. We're going to show you how to do that. So feel free to write myself or Rita. And then of course, we'll see you next Monday, same time, same place, live at five, right here at Primetime TV Show. Rita, thank you so much. We love you and I can't <laughs> wait to have you back again. <laughs> thank you, Barbara. All right. Thank you, everyone. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for being with us today.